Detractors might claim Elon Musk is keen on launching a mission to Mars for only one reason. He wants to go back home. But those who praise Musk claim he might hold the key to the future. That's in part due to his companies like Tesla, which is already the world's most popular manufacturer of electric cars. Then there's SpaceX, another Musk enterprise which plans to offer a private alternative to getting humankind into orbit and beyond. But speaking of beyond, he owns a few items that are bound to reinforce his eccentricity. We're taking a look at 10 ridiculous, expensive things Elon Musk owns. While you're waiting on the launch pad, make sure to like this video, subscribe to The Richest, and join our notification squad. Now let's take a look at some Elon Musk belongings that might raise your eyebrows higher than a SpaceX capsule can take you. One thing you can't argue about Elon Musk is that he has a brain that's far from ridiculous when it comes to ingenuity. Musk himself has often thought he was suited to be a spy, kinda like James Bond. Musk claims that injuries sustained by being bullied as a kid eliminated that opportunity. But now that Musk is filthy rich, he's been able to buy the next best thing. And what would that be? Why the amphibious Lotus Esprit sports car that was featured in the 007 film The Spy Who Loved Me from 1977. Musk put down $920,000 in 2013 to buy the vehicle. It was outfitted for 007, of course. It could drive off dry land into the ocean, where the wheels would be replaced by fins and the exhaust was exchanged for an undersea propeller so the car can operate like a submarine. Of course, someone like Elon Musk would want such an audacious vehicle. You get the idea that he's into cars. Musk is assembling a collection of vehicles, including a few models that are his pride and joy. Namely, a Ford Model T and a Jaguar Series 1 1967 E-Type Roadster. The Model T was given to him by a friend and has been running smoothly, but the Jaguar? It was so unreliable, it actually broke down while driving away from the dealership. But he kept it and put $35,000 into the vehicle until it was running at peak performance. Musk also had a McLaren Formula One Speedster until he crashed it in 2000. While owning those cars might not seem so ridiculous to some, it might be a bit crazy to fans of Elon Musk. Chances are they'd wrap their heads around why a person investing in green energy cars would bother with engines that run on gasoline, which in part is responsible for ruining the atmosphere. Now besides cars, Musk has also gone into real estate in a big way. He started by purchasing five properties in Los Angeles earlier in 2019, all of them in the ritzy neighborhood of Bel Air. His payment totaled more than $60 million in mortgages, and word has it that he's even looking at one more to buy. That's on top of a home he already bought for nearly $25 million in 2016, as well as two homes bought the year before. He also bought a home previously owned by actor Gene Wilder, which he purchased for more than $6 million in 2013. His primary residence is one that he bought in 2012 for $17 million, which has a tennis court and a giant home theater. He's obviously pretty comfortable there. Maybe he doesn't need all these homes, right? We all know Elon Musk likes to zip around in his electric vehicles or those glitzy cars in his private collection, but what about when it comes to everyday mobility? Occasionally, Elon likes to stride in style wearing his custom Tesla-branded sneakers. They were designed by Marco Acosta, who runs DM Customs in Los Angeles. Marco honored a rather peculiar order by someone who claimed to be a friend of Musk and wanted to give him something special for the billionaire's birthday. Acosta went to work on the project using a pair of Nike Air Jordans as a working model. While the design of the shoe was slick, the big draw of the sneakers was that they were made with repurposed luxury materials including premium python hide. They certainly got a lot of attention when Musk showed them off on social media. This also resulted in a ton of new orders and requests for Acosta to handle. The work, however, is so painstaking that Acosta has to design each shoe totally from scratch. So far, he's come up with six sneakers for sale. And the going price? Still not as much as a Tesla, but hardly cheap at $1,500 a pair. Would you ever save up to buy these sneakers? Musk has more than his fair share of critics. 
but he also has a lot of admirers, many of them wishing to show their gratitude for all that he's done as a trailblazing entrepreneur. One of these people is jeweler Ben Yang, going by the name Ben Baller. Through his custom jewelry making company, Icy Fresh Jewels, Yang created an original Tesla ring for Musk. The ring is made of platinum and decked out with an assortment of white diamonds and rubies. The centerpiece is a Tesla logo, which sports a trillion cut diamond with the company name spelt out in diamonds as well. Yang has an impressive roster of clients that include the Black Eyed Peas, Mariah Carey, Drake, Snoop Dogg, and Kanye West. But the crazy thing is that the Tesla ring for Musk is the only time he ever created and gave away a unique jewelry item for free. Any other mortal wanting the same exact ring, however, had better be prepared to fork over a whopping $40,000. Being a billionaire who owns an electric car company and a space fleet comes with its own celebrity status. And nothing says celebrity quite like owning your own tequila company. In reality, the idea for Musk to get into the tequila industry started out as a joke among Tesla designers and engineers. They kind of figured a shot of what they called tesla Kila is what they needed to get through those tough days at work. Naturally, Musk took it a step further. He posed on social media as someone passed out behind his Tesla Model three, claiming to be surrounded by Tesla Kila bottles. Then he trademarked the name and went to work on getting a tequila company off the ground. It's still a work in progress, of course. Musk makes more of his eco-conscious fans upset with the fact that he owns a twin-engine private plane. It's called the Gulfstream, and at $70 million, it's reportedly the best plane of its kind on the market. The Gulfstream is capable of going as far as 7,500 miles without refueling and can be customized to suit its billionaire owner's tastes. The jet is a celebrity in its own right, having appeared in the 2005 movie Thank You for Smoking, which starred Rob Lowe and Katie Holmes. Musk even had a cameo in the flick as the plane's pilot. The entrepreneur also owned a Dassault Falcon 900B jet worth $43 million before upgrading to the Gulfstream. And during Tesla's early years, Musk owned a Russian Aero Albatross military jet used for pilot training. Of all the winged wonders that have been in Musk's collection, it's the Albatross that he claims was the most fun to ride. At first glance, this item doesn't seem to look valuable, but to Musk, it's an important chapter in his personal and professional history. It's the domain name x.com, which currently contains no content whatsoever. It sheds some new light on Musk's infatuation for the letter X, as he had since put out a Tesla Model X electric vehicle as well as started an even bolder venture called SpaceX. Evidently, back in 2000, it was a groundbreaking website. That was when Musk, who owned the domain for a finance company he started, merged his firm with another company called Confinity. Confinity at the time had just started a new money transferring service. Musk and new partners decided to brand it as X.com, believing it had more clout recognition than Confinity. When the service was renamed PayPal a year later, X.com was no longer necessary. Yeah, that's right, Elon Musk pretty much owned PayPal before it was even PayPal. We're going to look at one item that Musk doesn't yet own. This one has eccentricity written all over it. In 2017, he mused over the possibility of installing a roller coaster inside Tesla's factory in Fremont, California. The idea was to take the tedium out of the workday with access to a theme park atmosphere. And in keeping with the theme of the green technology automaker, the roller coaster would also be electric. Actually, the roller coaster Musk had in mind would be responsible for transporting workers from the parking lot to the plant. He also had an economic agenda in mind when he came up with the novelty. But a roller coaster may not save Musk from some controversy with his staff. Tesla was going through some tough times trying to get its Model 3 to market in time. Musk feared his workers would unionize because of the long hours they faced. While he argued that Tesla workers could make as much as $25,000 more than other automaker employees because of those hours, he ignored reports that many of his workforce were calling in sick due to exhaustion. Despite the clamoring, there were no additional worker complaints and the company managed to get the Tesla 3 to showrooms. Given that many of his ventures are so unique and off the beaten path, 
investors aren't exactly lining up to help finance many of the things Musk has on the drawing board. That's why he finances many of the companies right out of his own pocket and even refuses to take a salary. Such was the case with yet another endeavor called The Boring Company that he started back in 2016. Its purpose was to carve out an underground tunnel beneath Los Angeles to cut down on automobile traffic at ground level. But while the company has since raised more than $112 million, almost all of the funding was from Musk. And while Tesla is undoubtedly the most popular electric car on the market, in the first half of 2018, Musk financed the operation by purchasing more than $35 million in shares of the company. Putting it simply, Elon Musk literally invests in himself. Like the engines that power the vehicles he creates, Musk is always gearing up for success, even at the risk of crashing on the unpredictable path that the economy has paved for him. He could also end up sipping champagne after his victory lap if all his ventures pay off. At any rate, with many of these items he owns or dreams up, he stands to gain or lose the most. Elon Musk might dream up some other cool ideas down the road or even purchase something even more outrageous. But for now, we'll end our look at his collection of crazy keepsakes. Which item surprised you the most? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to The Richest.